everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Amanda. I am typically teaching my classes out at the yoga studio at the beautiful Essential Farms. But for the time being, I am teaching these videos out of the comfort of my home, out of my living room. Um, so today's practice is a gentle chair yoga practice. So you'll need a chair most important prop, um, make sure it doesn't have wheels and make sure that it's on a non-slip surface. You'll notice that I have mine on my, my yoga mat. Um, some other props for our practice today, a blanket, two yoga blocks and a yoga strap. Now, if you don't have any of this extra um, yoga equipment, uh, don't worry about it. You can absolutely still practice along with me today. And uh, with that said, if you enjoy this practice, which I hope you do, uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and to subscribe to the Essential Farms YouTube channel, because when you do that, uh, it helps others to be able to find these videos and to practice along with. So let's go ahead and get started. So for today's practice, if you have a yoga block, we're going to place the yoga block this way, in other words, like this, uh, between our shoulder blades. So it'll be resting between your back and the back of your chair. Now, honestly, I hadn't thought of this before I said that. My back has these rungs. I think it should still work though. Um, so this may be easier for you to uh, do this if you have a solid back of your chairs, but we'll find out <laughs> in a second here. Um, now, if you don't have a yoga block handy, you'll just come to the front of your seat, feet about hip distance apart. You can have a blanket in your lap if you like. Um, blanket's really just there for added warmth, um, provides a nice grounding effect as, as well. So. As mentioned, I'm going to take my yoga block and I'm going to put it between my shoulder blades. And if you are using a block, you can't sit towards the front of your chair because you're gonna use your back. And yeah, actually, if you're using a chair that has rungs, this totally works. And you may have to move it up or down a bit to find kind of that sweet spot, if you will. And you may be wondering, Amanda, why the heck are we taking our centering like this today? This helps to draw the shoulders back. And I need to move my block a little bit further up. There we go. So as I just said, this helps to draw the shoulders back. Now we don't tend to sit for very long in centering, but if um, you meditate and you find that you start to kind of get this rounding of the back or even during this short centering time that we're going to be doing in a moment here. This is a great option for you to draw those shoulders back. And hands for now, we're just going to rest comfortably in the lap and go ahead and begin to close your eyes. If you haven't done so already, or if closing your eyes makes you feel sleepy, keeping them open, but having a soft, steady gaze out before you. Now, if having this block between the shoulder blades becomes uncomfortable at all, Please release the block and just set it out of your way and come to sit towards the front of your seat up nice and tall. Hands resting comfortably in the lap, palms down or palms up. Palms up tends to create a little more energy, is more energetic. Um, palms facing down provides more grounding, it's more um, uh, comforting. Relaxing your face muscles, relaxing your tongue and jaw. While we have our attention at the lower jaw, check in with it. 
If you're feeling any tension there, give it a nice wiggle from side to side to help release that. And then allowing your lower jaw to come back to stillness. Allow a little space between your teeth. And allowing your lower jaw to relax downwards towards your lap. And allowing yourself the best that you can to get settled into this time and into this space that we've set aside for ourselves today. Feeling the earth beneath your feet. Noticing where body touches chair. Where body touches block if you're using one. Noticing the warmth of the blanket resting in your lap if you're using one. Or the warmth of your hands resting on the body. Noticing where clothing touches skin. And then noticing how you feel today, mentally, emotionally, physically, without judgment. And after taking note of that, please allow your practice to unfold how best suits you today and how you're feeling. Not your neighbors, if you happen to be practicing with somebody today, not mine, the teachers, but your practice. Working in harmony with your body, not against it. Beginning to take nice, long, satisfying inhales, exhales through your nose. And if any thoughts start to bubble up, Note the thoughts, try not to hold on to them or make storylines out of your thoughts, but allowing them to pass from the mind like a cloud being carried away on a breeze and coming back to your breath here. As we inhale and exhale through the nose. next few moments here. If you would like to set an intention for your yoga practice today, you can do so by saying it three times mentally and gently letting it go.
And in your own time, just beginning to allow your eyes to flutter open. Now, if you were using a yoga block between the shoulder blades, go ahead and sit forward and take that block out and just set it out of your way. I'm gonna set my yoga blanket off to the side, also out of my way. And go ahead, and if you were using your block, you'll need to come forward a bit on your, on your seat. And from here, we're just going to begin by uh, warming up the shoulders. So we'll take our little chicken wings, as I like to call them, fingertips rest to uh, your shoulders, and we'll just begin by making circles with the elbows. So depending on what your shoulders feel like today, you can make small circles, you can make big circles, you can start off with small circles and then progress to bigger ones, really whatever feels best to your shoulders here. And go ahead and reverse your circle. And last round, <clears throat> come to your goal post arm. So palms will face forward and even coming forward more on the front of your chair and go and take feet just a touch wider than hip distance apart. Seated cow cat, inhale, glide the heart forward, draw the elbows back, look up if you can. And then as you exhale, you'll round the back, draw your elbows towards your belly button as you tuck the chin towards the chest. And again, inhale, glide the heart forward, look up if you can, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And just continue with this movement, moving at your own pace. Linking each inhale, exhale with movement. And let's take two more rounds here. And then as you inhale, come back to your goal post or cactus pose arms and gently release the arms along side body. And let's do shoulder shrugs. So just take the shoulders up by the ears and exhale them away. Inhale them up and exhale away. And just continue with this movement. Again, at your own pace, always at your own pace. You don't ever have to be on my exact counts. And then let's go ahead and alternate. So take one shoulder up as opposite fingertips reach towards the earth and switch it up. And just continue going back and forth. And come back through to center, take hands about shoulder distance apart, palms facing each other and inhale let's take left arm up my right but your left arm up exhale our right elbow comes towards the hip and let's add a bit of a side stretch here now as you're side stretching make sure that your uh, left sit bone isn't lifting up from the earth but it's grounded to the seat inhale come through to center switch it up reach stretch to that opposite side so just tick tocking yourself back and forth here Now, if you would like a deeper side stretch, instead of taking the elbow towards your hip, maybe reach your fingertips down towards the earth, and then you'll inhale it up. Exhale, take opposite fingertips towards the earth. And just as we have been, just tick-tock yourself back and forth. Let's do one more round in on each side. And 
then going to come through to center, take the arms up, turn your palms out and cascade the breath all the way to the earth. Now externally rotate the arms, so palms are facing up. Inhale the arms up, exhale into what I call zombie pose arms, palms towards the earth, inhale the arms up, turn the palms out, exhale, cascade the breath all the way to the earth, palms facing up, inhale the arms up, reaching, stretching up as tall as you can, exhale, palms to the earth, palms up towards the sky, inhale the arms up, turn your palms out, exhale it down. And just continuing with this movement. Inhale it up, palms towards the earth, palms facing up, inhale the arms up the best that you can. Turn your palms out, exhale. Let's do one more round of this arm flow. Inhale it up. Exhale, palms towards the earth. Flip your palms up, inhale it up. Turn your palms out and exhale it down. Great, turn your palms up. Inhale, reaching, stretching it up as tall as you can. And let's twist. Exhale to your right. So as we twist, remember we lead with the belly, then the rib cage, collarbones, then the head. Left hand comes to outer right thigh or knee. Make sure your knees are lined up. One's not creeping forward of the other. This right hand can grab the seat or for a deeper twist, we place that hand and we wrap it the best that we can around the back of the chair. Smooth, steady breath here. Inhale, come through to center, arms up. Exhale, let's twist to the opposite side. Line the knees up. And inhale, gently unwind. Let's take the arms up. Turn your palms out. Exhale, cascade the breath all the way to the earth. Great, now from here, we're going to do our pretend bubble um, exercise. So almost like you're holding, hands are out in front of you about shoulder distance apart. Well, honestly, it depends on how big your, yeah, I'd say shoulder distance apart. I was gonna say it depends on how big your bubble is, but let's keep it at about shoulder distance apart. So again, like we're holding an imaginary bubble and it's a flexible bubble and you can stretch it any way you choose. So maybe you stretch it this way, then come together, or maybe you stretch it diagonally. So whatever your heart desires, feel free to get a little creative. You can take it up and stretch it. You can move as quickly or slowly as you like. You can stretch it down low, arms out, closed. You can add a bit of a twist here and take your bubble this way. Just make sure you do the other side as well. Whatever way you want to stretch your bubble, go for it. and get out any last moves that you would like to do. And then let's come back through to center and let's just rest hands on the knees for now. And taking the shoulders, <clears throat> excuse me, back for a couple of shoulder rolls. And go ahead and take them forward. And individually, just because it's kind of fun. And reverse that back, back, back. Excellent. Now let's interlace the fingers and take the palms down towards your thighs for now. We're just going to simply stretch out the fingers and stretch out the wrists. So you're going to 
extend the arms forward. Pausing here. Now would be a great time to take note which pinky finger you have furthest away from you because we'll go ahead and release and then switch the interlace of your fingers up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you'll draw the uh, palms forward again. Now from here, you're just going to take your left palm up towards the sky and use your other hand to help draw those fingertips towards the bicep. Stretching out the fingers, stretching out the wrist. Check in, make sure that your shoulders aren't crunched up by your ears. And let's go ahead and switch that up. So opposite palm up towards the sky. Other hand is just helping draw those fingers towards the bicep the best that you can. Again, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. And go ahead and shake, 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 shake. The hands out, the wrists out. And we're gonna come back to a couple of wrist stretches a little bit later, but for now, Go ahead and extend your left leg out. So you'll have to come forward on your seat a bit. And you can do this. We're just going to be pointing and flexing your foot. So you can grab the seat as needed. Or if you would like a little more core work, you can rest hands in your lap. But so you're just going to flex your left foot, strongly drawing your um, toes towards your shin. And then point. Feeling the stretch along the front of the foot front of the uh, shin and flex and point, flex and point. And just continue with that movement. Shoulders away from the ears. I know you're probably sick of hearing me saying that, but they tend to like to creep up on us and we don't even realize that they're up there by the ears. Two more times. And go ahead and step foot back towards the chair and then we'll extend the opposite leg flex your foot and point flex and point and just continuing with that movement two more times And then take that foot back uh, towards the chair and go ahead and let's pick that left foot up and we'll make circles with the foot, taking it one way and the other way. So reverse your circle. Again, you can hold on to the chair here. If that feels more stable for you. And release opposite foot, make your circles one way. and the other way. Make sure you're breathing. And exhale, go ahead and gently release. Now from here, let's inhale the arms up alongside the ears. And then as you exhale, you're going to draw the arms to your outer left leg. Inhale them through to center and exhale opposite sides. We're coming into another twist. Inhale it up and exhale. Inhale it up and exhale. Inhale it up. Let's do it once more on the other side. Exhale. Inhale it up and exhale. Inhale it through to center. Reach, stretch it up as tall as you can. Turn your palms out. Exhale, cascade your breath all the way towards the earth. Great, go ahead and let's stand up. And as mentioned, we're gonna do a couple of more um, wrist stretches. So I'm actually gonna turn my chair so that the seat is facing 
towards me. I'm going to move my yoga strap out of my way. So essentially we're going to be resting with our hands like this to our seat. Now, if this is too much, this is where your yoga blocks come in. Or if you don't have yoga blocks and you happen to have a couple of books that are about the same width, pause the video, go grab a couple of books, come back and join me. So for now, we're just going to rest palms to the chair or your blocks. So fan your fingers wide. And as you come into this, don't uh, please don't just kind of hang in your shoulders. Press down through your hands. Now, to stretch the wrists out, we're going to begin to shift the weight forward slightly. And then we'll shift the hips back. And shift it forward. Good. Exhale it back. And forward and back and forward and back. Go ahead and come back through to center. Now we're, I'm going to switch my hands up. So now we, uh, you should have your palms to your blocks or your chair. I'm going to put the backs of my hands to my blocks, to my chair. So my palms are facing up towards me and my fingers are facing towards me. So again, you can shift the weight slightly forward and back to deepen. And you can continue with this as a moving stretch, or I personally like to just allow myself to pause here, stretching out my wrists. And from here, I'm going to switch it up yet again. So I'm gonna shift the weight a little further or, or a little further into the front of my feet. And I'm just gonna take a second, shake, shake, shake my hands out. And then from here, I'm going to spin my hands around so that my wrists are facing forward. So in other words, my hands or fingertips are facing towards me. Now, this provides a really nice stretch to the wrists. So feel free to stay here. Now to deepen, just as we did a moment ago, I'm going to begin to shift my weight more so in so that it's into the heels. I'm just gonna pause here and breathe. Inhale, as I exhale, I'm gonna carefully set my hands, palms back to the yoga blocks. And again, I'm just gonna give my hands a good old shake, 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 shake. Great, now I'm going to set my yoga blocks out of my way and I'm going to spin my chair so that the back of my chair is facing me and we'll do a couple of heel raises, more than a couple. So feet about hip distance apart, just grabbing onto the back of your chair. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, release the heels down. Inhale, the heels up. And exhale, continuing with that movement at your own pace. Now, the next time that you inhale and you have your heels lifted away from the earth, see if by chance you can come to balance here. Now, your arms don't have to be all the way, whoops, there I go. Uh, your arms don't have to be all the way up by the ears. You can lift them just a few inches, a few centimeters. You can keep a, a finger to the back of the chair as needed. Just see if you can come to balance here. Again, make sure you're breathing, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, as you exhale, go ahead and release the heels down, grab the back of your chair, and go ahead and give the legs a good shake, 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 and let's just pedal the feet out. So pop one knee and then the other, and just go back and forth. 
back and forth. Once more on either side, and come back to center, back to stillness. From here, let's step the right foot back. Back toes are going to be slightly turned in. Now, to provide a stretch along the back of that left leg, what we're going to do is flex the left foot, and you'll begin to bend into that right knee a bit as you lower the hips towards the earth here. So you should be feeling a nice stretch along the back of the left leg. Pausing here, breathing, lifting your sit bones away from that back heel. And inhale, exhale, go and step onto that left foot and step the right foot next to the left. And we'll do that on the opposite side. So stepping your left foot back, back toes slightly turned in. Now flexing your right foot strongly, toes come towards the shin here. And as we just did, you'll start to bend your left knee, allow the hips to sink towards the earth, lift your sit bones away from your left heel or away from the floor rather. Inhale, as you exhale, go ahead and step onto your front foot, left foot meets the right foot. Let's do that once more on either side. So, stepping the right foot back, back toe slightly turned in, you'll start to bend into that, or I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead, flex your left foot first, and then we'll start to bend into that right knee. Lift your sit bones away from your mat, Full steady breath here. Inhale, as you exhale, step onto your front foot, right foot meets the left foot, <clears throat> excuse me. Step your left foot back, back toe slightly turned in, flex your right foot strongly, and then as you're ready, you'll start to bend into that back knee. Allow your hips to sink, lift your sit bones though away from your back heel. Inhale, as you exhale, step onto your front foot. Back foot meets the front foot. Give your legs a nice shake, shake, shake. And go ahead and move your chair towards the front of your mat so you have plenty of space to step back. Let's move into our uh, chair. Not, uh, not half moon, what, I mean, what am I trying to spit out? Sun salutation, there we go. <laughs> So chair sun salute, you can release the back of the chair, stand up nice and tall, gently draw the tailbone towards the earth, front of the thighs, draw it back. Inhale, mindful of your chair as you take the arms up, alongside the ears. Exhale, grab the back of the chair. Let's step the right foot back, back toe slightly turned in, front heel lines up with the inside of the back heel. Now, bending into that front knee, but remember, uh, be mindful that all the weight isn't dumping, you're not doing this, and all your weight is dumping forward in your front foot. Weight is in the back foot in Warrior One. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward, extend out through your outer right heel, and stay here, or if you feel steady to do so, this is where we can take one arm up, maybe the other, elbows towards each other, so really straight arms, spread the fingers. Inhale, as you exhale, frame, or I'm sorry, grab the back of the chair, then from here, we lift our back heel, spin the back foot forward, drop the back heel down. Now we're going to take a big step back with the left foot, finding our downward facing dog. 
So allow your head and neck to be heavy here, lifting your sit bones away from your heels. Smooth, steady breath here. Bending the knees, begin to walk the feet towards the back of the chair. Relax your shoulders. And again, relax hands, arms alongside body. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, grab the back of the chair. Left foot steps back. Back to a slightly turned in front heel, lines up the inside of the back heel, bend into that front knee. Weight is in the back foot though. Maybe take one arm up, both arms up. <clears throat> Relax your shoulders. Breathe. Grab the back of the chair, lift your back heel, spin the back foot forward, back heel drops. So then we step the right foot back to meet the left, feet about hip distance apart, downward facing dog. Smooth, steady breath. Bending the knees, begin to walk yourself towards the back of the chair. And let's do that once more on either side. Release the hands down, inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, grab the back of the chair, right foot steps back, back toe slightly turned in, warrior one. Exhale, grab the back of the chair, down dog. Bending the knees, walk, walk, walk yourself back towards the back of the chair. Release the back of the chair if you can. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, grab the back of the chair. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, grab the back of the chair, lift your back heel. Spin the back foot forward. Sorry about that. That's Lucy, our Greyhound, rattling around in her crate. Downward facing dog. Bending the knees, walk the feet towards the back of the chair and relax hands, arms along, side body. Excellent. Now from here, let's practice our balance pose today. So we're going to actually come into warrior three. And to do that, we're going to first start in warrior one, which we just did. So you will begin to step your right foot back, back toe slightly turned in, front heel lines up with inside of the back heel, bend into your front knee. So as mentioned, warrior one, weight shifts into that back foot, take the arms up. Now, as you inhale, exhale, we are then going to begin to shift our weight onto that front foot. Grab the back of the chair. See if you can lift your back heel, spin the back foot forward and push off. Now we spiral that inner right thigh, so toes face the floor. Little micro bend to your balancing leg. Don't lock the knee. Now you can, just like we practiced in Warrior One, you can see if maybe you can get a little bit light in your hands. You can take one arm up while holding onto the chair. You can take both arms up. And if you feel up for it, you can even start to hinge, whoops, there I go, at the hips as well. Let's gently release and let's try that on the other side. So left foot steps back, front heel lines up with the inside of the back foot, bend into that front knee, weight though shifts to the back foot, warrior one. Inhale here, exhale, grab the back of your chair. Weight then does shift forward onto that front foot so you can pick that back heel up, spin the back foot forward, See if you can come to balance, perhaps, on that front foot. Spiral your inner left thigh to keep your toes to the floor. 
And again, maybe see if you can get a little bit light with your grip on the back of the chair. You can even start to hinge at the hips if you care to try. Inhale, as you exhale, go ahead and gently release. Go ahead and shake your legs out. Beautiful. Now from here, let's go ahead and come to sit back in our chair. So I'm gonna spin my chair forward. And let's give our warrior two and reverse warrior uh, whirl today. So go ahead and grab onto your seat for now, coming towards the front of your chair. I'm going to externally rotate my left toes out from the hip the best that I can. And then I'm going to extend my right leg out from the hip the best that I can. So if you feel, um, Steady, stable, maybe try lifting one arm up from the shoulder, maybe both. Relax your shoulders. You can look at over left fingertips. Great, let's see if we can turn the palms up towards the sky. And let's reach this left arm up alongside the ear. Right hand rests gently to the back of the leg. Don't press into the back of the leg. Draw your left shoulder back. Beautiful, inhale through to center. Exhale, grab your seat and gently draw the feet towards each other. And we'll try that on the opposite side. So right toes out from the hip. Extend out through your left leg. Stay here or take one arm out from the shoulder, maybe two, look out over right fingertips. Turn your palms up, inhale. As you exhale, let's reverse our warrior. Draw upper shoulder back. Beautiful, inhale through to center. Exhale, grab the chair and roll those feet towards each other once again. Feet about hip distance apart, release the chair. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, let's fold into our ski jump, forward fold. Inhale it up. This time, lift your heels up. Good. Exhale, ski jump. Let's do it three more times. Inhale it up. Exhale. Inhale it up. Exhale. I'm going to do it one more time. I think this was my last time. I forgot or I lost track though. And inhale, go ahead and lift the heels up, take the arms up, turn your palms out. Exhale, cascade the arms, breath, heels toward, back towards the earth. Great. Now moving into another twist. So from here, let's take our goal post arms and we're going to inhale here and exhale to the right for a gentle twist. Inhale through to center, exhale twist. Inhale through to center, exhale twist. Inhale through to center, exhale twist. Inhale through to center. This time as you exhale, let's twist in goalpost arms, line the knees up, and then as you exhale, let's release the arms as we did earlier in our twist. So left hand comes to outer right knee. Right hand can grab the back of the chair or uh, wrap around the back of the chair for a deeper twist. Inhale, gently unwind to goalpost. Exhale, twist, line the knees up, and then release the arm.
Inhale as you exhale, go ahead and gently release. Interlacing your fingers, take the palms down, out, and up. Exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest, palms rest to the back of the neck, and then drop your elbows towards your thighs. Inhale, untuck the chin, crown of the head towards the sky, draw your elbows back, look up if you can. Releasing the hands, arms out from the shoulders, right hand comes over to left temple, and help guide right ear down towards the shoulder gently. Now keeping your left arm extended, just turning your left fingertips up towards the sky and down towards the earth. You can gently drop forehead towards your right thigh and then curl your fingers towards the wrist. And let's switch that up. So right arm extends, left hand to temple, and help gently guide left ear down towards the shoulder. And keeping that arm extended, just the fingertips, turn your right fingertips up towards the sky, and fingertips towards the earth. You can gently drop forehead towards your left thigh, and then curl your fingertips towards the wrists like you're holding a basket or a bucket. Inhale as you exhale, go ahead and gently release. And let's just take right ear towards the shoulder and tick tock the head to the opposite side. And back and forth. Last time, back and forth and to center, tuck the chin towards your chest. And then to give your head a little more support, take the shoulders up before you gently drop the head back. And release the shoulders, tuck the chin towards the chest, and shoulders up by the ears, and drop the head back. And release, chin towards the chest, shoulders up by the ears, and back. Let's do that one more time. And release, take your head back through to center. Very good. Now from here, we will go ahead and move into Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So with that said, if you are comfortable coming all the way down to your mat to lay on your mat, uh, feel free to do that. You can absolutely do that if you're comfortable with that, if you're able to easily get up and down from the floor. If not, you can take um, your Shavasana or final relaxation seated, how I'm going to be today. Or if you happen to have an extra chair to prop your legs up with, bring the earth up to you to mimic the sensation of laying on the ground, you can absolutely do that as well. Um, the only thing that I would mention, if you are going to grab another chair to set your legs on, make sure as much of your legs is supported as possible. In other words, don't just set the chair or have the chair under your feet. Um, if you can, if you have, um, which honestly, if you have long legs, it might be more of a, a, a foot rest. But if you can, take some of your calves under the, the chair as well to feel more grounded and support as much of the leg as possible. But with that said, I'm going to grab my blanket. Now, if you've practiced with me before, you already know what I'm going to be doing, but if this is your first time checking out this channel and practicing with me, um, I'm essentially going to be taking my blanket and I'm going to Fold it in half, like so, and then from here, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to make it into kind of a horseshoe shape to put around my neck to act as almost kind of like one of those travel pillows so I can get a little more comfortable and rest my head back. So uh, this is Shavasana, so you absolutely can shimmy yourself back so you're using your backrest 
and you can absolutely kind of slump a little bit to get comfortable. And notice I just have my arms kind of wrapped around uh, my blanket. They're kind of tucked under my arms. And I just have my hands resting in my lap. Again, feet don't necessarily have to be about hip distance apart. Get comfortable here. And as you're situated, as you're ready, go ahead and gently close your eyes here. And just like we did when we were getting settled into our practice, beginning to notice the earth beneath your feet. Or notice where your body is touching the earth if you happen to be resting all the way to the earth. Notice where body touches chair if you're using chair. Notice where head is touching your blanket if you're using one. Or blanket touches body. Or clothing touches skin. allowing weight of the body to just sink, melt into your support, melt into the earth here. Relaxing your face muscles, relaxing your tongue and jaw. needed give your lower jaw another little wiggle 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 from side to side to help to release any tension there and then allowing your lower jaw to come back to stillness a little space between the teeth allowing your lower jaw to relax downward Relaxing your neck and shoulders and chest. Relaxing your arms, hands, fingers, stomach and hips. Relaxing your buttocks, thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles, and feet. Releasing any tension out through your toes. Taking rest here and enjoying and absorbing the effects of your yoga practice today.
in your own time, beginning to bring small movements back to the body, beginning to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your ankles or circle your ankles and wrists, gently waking up the body. If you like, you can take a full body stretch, extending out through the fingers or all the way out through the toes, enlivening the whole body. And finding your way to your comfortable seated position. Taking the arms up alongside the ears for one last final stretch. Now, as you exhale, hands find their way to the heart, head surrenders towards the heart. Thank you so much for sharing your chair yoga with me today. I hope you embrace the sense of well-being that you've created for yourself and take that with you through the rest of your day. I wish you peace in your minds, peace in your words, and love in your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for some gentle chair yoga practice today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. I hope it left you feeling grounded, yet energized, peaceful, all at the same time. So until next time, take care of yourself. Thank you so much again for joining me. Bye-bye.